All right, you guys, we're off to Las Vegas, Nevada to attend the World of Concrete, which I learned was the first trade show allowed since the pandemic hit last year. We're gonna be checking out all of the newest tools, gear, equipment, and innovation coming down the pipeline. Two of these really stuck out to me, but I wanna hear from you as you go through the video. Pick out your favorite tools and list them down below. And while you're doing things, if you like this video, you wouldn't mind smashing that like button, it goes a long way. And since you're hitting stuff in the first place, hit the subscribe button and let's get into it. All right, good morning, you guys. The show is about to begin. We're heading in to the World of Concrete to the North Hall. And today's video is sponsored by our friends from LMN Software. You guys know that LMN's been a great friend of this channel. And they asked me to come to World of Concrete today and find you guys the coolest tools, gear, equipment, and innovation to make your guys' lives easier. And that's what we're gonna be doing. We're heading into the hall now. Let's go check out and see what's happening. Okay, so you're not bending over. I'm not killing my back. I'm using a back saver. And so you have this design for all the different kinds. This one's for DeWalt. That one's for DeWalt. That one's for Bosch Makita. That one's for Hilti. Okay, so you have one for all the major brands that ha are out yes. there. Called the back saver. No bending over to drill concrete holes anymore. No, no. Makes it lots easier. It's the safest way to drill holes and you double your production. It's got a pad right there. And you can turn it off and on right here. Yes. We can go on the website, www.hammerdrillattachment.com. You can also do a back saver drill search and it'll pull us up. Outside, inside, wet, dry. Base. This is what model? Well, this is the 697. And so how this much is, is this run? So this runs at the show around 1899. Okay, so this we're looking at the new Avant, battery powered, but let's see how we connect the. Oh. There. And then she stays there. Yep. How long have you guys had that? That's been on there since, I mean, I would say at least um, eight years, because that's, um, I don't know when we should first why do not it, Why does not more people have that set up? I know, it's very easy, for sure. Golly, eight years and I've never seen that. What is wrong with me? Look at that unloader. Look how far that thing can reach. Love. This is the one game that I really like here, this horse game. Except for the one on Fremont Street, which is the quarter horse game. Actual vintage quarters. You put quarters in. It's the last one in the United States or the world or something, and it's on Fremont Street at the, I think the D, I think is the name of it. It is a more. 
Four wheel drive. Okay. Uh, all hydrostatic bike in action. Four wheel hydrostatic drive by CandyCom. Low center of gravity. Candy, CandyCom. 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 Yeah, that's extremely low center of gravity. What's it powered by? Uh, Honda GX690. A Honda oh, engine. All right. Where's these made? Jamaica. Jamaica? Japan. Oh, Japan. Okay, okay. Well, I mean, hey, you know what? Jamaica's got to make something. Yeah, I don't know what. I don't know what they make, but... All right, so is this a standard feature, the ability to release this deck, or is this just for the show like this? Standard feature. So you can get underneath here and, and clear this out. Yep. Clear it out, change the blades if you need to. What are we looking at? So this is the mud mixer. It's a continuous concrete mixer for any bag product, uh, concrete, mortar, stucco. It's as easy as dropping your bag in the top. It cuts the bag open for you. You discard your bag. There's an auger down here and a water source. It's infused right here. There are two jets. Basically, you just keep feeding the machine and it keeps pumping out concrete. So we've used any uh, you know, quick creep product, uh, mortar, stucco, we've done it all. Uh, you can do it about a pallet an hour. So that's one man, one hour, one pallet. Uh, the hopper itself holds 120 pounds of mix. Uh, so you can get a pallet of the 80 pound bags done in an hour. So, how much easier. does this cost? Uh, we're doing retail at $21.85 right now. And where can these guys get one? You can buy it online, mudmixer.com. Uh, and uh, that's probably the easiest place at this point. And uh, here. Uh, we've only been selling the unit for about two months. We've been working on it over two and a half, three years. So it's been, it's been a process. All right. Thank awesome. you. Thank you. Thank you. So at the show, Hilti had two big things that they were really concentrating on, and you'll see both of them in this video. But this is the first one, the JAI bot, and I guess it's literally just a robot that screws in stuff overhead for you. So it takes, a, it takes away the labor of screwing. What is it? Jobs? I always forget. Job site? Automated? Oh, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is it? Whatever J A I stands for plus bot. <laughs> oh, let's check out some of the new concrete saws. Oh, I don't know if these are new, but they're new to me. Ah, look at that. Beautiful. What? Look at this big dog. Look at this, you guys. Tool belt. It's actually made like a workout weightlifter's belt. Wow. No building solutions. We have a patented waterproofing attachment uh, concrete anchor. Okay. So this concrete anchor is a six by six stainless steel flange. It has the T anchor on the bottom for you to embed in the wet cement. The special thing about our product, which separates us from all the other embedment anchors, is our embedment anchor has a patented waterproof threaded port kit. This goes into the wet cement. Once the cement cures, you can waterproof with any kind of roofing membrane that you're using over the top of our flange, cut out the port, and now you can attach whatever you need into our waterproof threaded port. And this is the only system that is out there that can do that? This is the only system out there that can do that. They have embedment anchors, but none of them have the ability to attach into the embedment anchor. We make them in this size. We have giant ones, which are used for giant curtain walls. You can embed them like this and attach up. You can attach them into the form and then pour the concrete over them. And now you can attach the giant steel or glass railing, or curtain walls, whatever you need into the side of your building with our waterproof threaded port. All right. Strong as can be, number one on the planet. Mill Building Solutions has the only patent to give you all of this capabilities. Thank you, sir. Thanks, man. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. So we're looking at a 40 millim uh, BNT 40X rebar tying machine with a handle extension. Automatic. Same gun. This is the BNT 40, but it's got a handle. 
So now he's not bending. And he's tying root deck, rebar. And he just tied eight, 16. And, and 30, 40 seconds. Nice. I'm slow. <laughs> You're slow. <laughs> All right, guys, brand new. What's well, not brand new? Rodman. Rodman. Okay. Rodman Tools located in Canoga Park. What we have here are multi purpose drill bits. They are made out of cobalt, nickel carbon, boron, manganese, and titanium. They are designed to drill steel, stone, glass, and ceramic. So you no longer have to interchange out your drill bits according to your materials. They are resistant to heat. You'll have to go home and try to drill a Nicholson Black Diamond file at 3,000 grind. Let me go home. Get in the close on me. Heat, speed, friction, always take out your drill bits. When your drill bits get glowing red hot, So they are flexible. The next situation most people encounter is when you're drilling and hit something you didn't see. What happens to the tip? They tip out. <laughs> now these have a 118, so these are not going to walk on you. Whether you're drilling free steel, tool steel, colo steel, hard jason steel, you don't know what it is. That's the benefit of these hard rodman tips. You're going to hit you right on full. Whether you're drilling marble, granite, rock, a lot of rock, old foundation, you can use your hand. Whether you have wall tile, floor tile, glass, mirror, you just score it and away you go. She, she just scores it, just you That's flip it. it? That easy. So yeah. you no longer have to sit there, go to the hardware store where you have rows and rows of bits. One for metal, one for masonry, and one for wood. What are these called? You've been there. These are yep. Rodman drill bits. The Rodman nibbler. How much do they run? Now, outside the show, you're looking at 200 for the set. Our show price is 110. You're looking at an eighth all the way up to half inch by 30 seconds. And the beauty of these tools is all our tools are made in the U.S. and you have a commercial lifetime warranty. So you no longer need to carry five to six different sets in the back of your truck. These are going to bring you home your dinner every night. Thank you. My pleasure. Alright, we'll do this in another spot where we can... I want to do a time lapse. So you're never gonna cut your knuckles on it. Comes back and just comes right back in. Replacing the blade is simple as just doing this. It's back in. Comes in two sizes. This is the large, and then we have the small right here. 
And this, how do they find it? Where do they get it? Uh, this is Prazi USA. Uh, it's made in the US. Check out our website, prazausa.com. Oh, okay, so. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, so you're the product manager for the human automation. Is, now, there's other one of these out, is there, or is this the only one out? So this is the first product within the human augmentation category that we've launched here in the London Metropolitan. Okay, okay. Can you, can you see it? Yeah, absolutely. Pretty light. It's, it's about four, four and a half pounds. Huh. That's the idea because the, the job site workers already go through so much, so you don't want to put anything bulky, restrictive. Lightweight, easy to put on, easy to adjust. What does it actually assist with? So what it does, it's built for overhead applications. So if I, if you look at my arm, if I'm, it doesn't really do much if I'm working anywhere below my chest. The moment I start raising my arm, these expanders start engaging. So you see this? Yeah. They start engaging. So what it does, while I'm working overhead, it takes the strain from my upper body and basically and specifically from my upper arm bicep and from my shoulder and transfers it through these mechanical pulleys onto my hip. So what we, what we, what we are seeing with people who spend 50-60% of their time working overhead, we've seen a decrease in strain and fatigue on their upper arms in 47%. So you've actually done the research, done course, the field testing, the trials. This is going on people's bodies. We, we need to make sure that, that we know how this is reacting, how this will respond. So we've done we've done all of the measurements, we've tested this with different solutions. Wow. It's actually a pretty impressive exoskeleton. I mean I've seen them and they look the ones I've seen, I'll be quite honest with you, look more cumbersome than they look helpful. That's, that's the idea. That's, that's what we're going for as well. Because what you see that uh, a lot of the exoskeletons that currently exist on the market have not been tailored for construction. And in construction there are already so many moving pieces, a lot of workers have safety vests or even harnesses on, right? So you need something that's that's lightweight, that's easy to put on, that doesn't restrict them. I can easily, you know, reach into my if I had any back pouch or if I had a if I had a tool belt, I can easily reach wherever I need to. I can grab my phone from my back pocket. Because this should be helping, not hindering you. Hmm. And it's available now and it's fifteen ninety nine. It is, American dollars. Absolutely. Nice. Wow. There you go. That's what Hilt that's what's new with Hilti. Thank you, Simone. Appreciate it. Pleasure meeting you. tool that's used by a lot of uh, sealant guys that they have to cut out like an expansion joint which you have to do a lot and they have to put new urethane in right over there this is a pipe knife you just take that in so there's a blade in the end and you cut it out you can also do glazing cut out high-rise windows but what happens when that blade gets uh, dull and you want to change it out so you got to find a screwdriver you got to unscrew this and you got to take that blade out and change it that screw is a tiny little screw. What happens if you're 30 stories up and you drop that? Well, you're out of luck. So what we invented is called the Pipe Knife Screw Caddy. Conveniently, goes in the back of the knife. It's got the exact bit to take that screw out. It comes with the three different replacement screws. It comes with the Phillips head, slot head, the T15. So it's a multi-tool. You fix your blade, throw it back in the back of the knife, and you're all set to go. Pipe knife screw caddy, new world of concrete, 2021. Thank you. Paul, well, how are you? Good, how are you doing? Good, so this is so new that this is actually the prototype 3D printed model. That's is my understanding. When does this go into production? Uh, it'll start going into production over the summertime, so early next year is when it'll be available. So can you walk us around and show us what you guys have built? Yeah, so what it is, uh, is a gas-powered 14-inch uh, saw yeah. with a fully integrated dust collection system. 
So I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah. So it has a filter in here. Yeah. It has a inside of here is your a vacuum fan that's yeah. being driven off of the belt. Yeah. So that creates your vacuum. Um, so it, it's completely integrated with dust collection. Can you open this up for us, Gary? Can we see it? Oh, yeah, this actually, is a I got it. No, it's not. It's sealed. Okay. Yeah, no, I, I, I'd have to get the screws out, but the filters okay. are all in there. Okay. Uh, a little bit this? later on, I'll pop the cover off and show when you. When will this become off. available? Oh, okay. Beginning of next year, and it'll be in full, you know, in IQ power tools. IQ. I don't know who IQ up does. The other guys. One of the things that we partnered with a German motor manufacturer here, and one of the nice features of this is it's an automatic oiling, so you're not mixing two stroke and fuel anymore. So you put your two stroke oil in there, put your gasoline in here, and it runs. If it runs out of two stroke oil, then the machine will let you know that. Stop, so. All right, and that's by IQ yes. coming in a year. And you're going to pull tight and wrap. You want to make sure that that first and second wrap are in contact with each other, right? So you're going to pull tight and wrap. The more times you wrap, the stronger it gets. So this is our two millimeter regular duty, and I've wrapped it four times now. Four times is at 575 pound max load that I'm going to take the tail and tuck it underneath the last wrap here, just like that. There's no need for knots. So I don't know how to tie knots, but guess what? This is not going anywhere. Now, I'm going to bring in my lovely assistant, Seth. He weighs uh, 270 pounds now. It's wrapped with 10 feet of simple strap. Right? Okay? And so, when you're done, you untuck the tail, you unwrap. So this is completely reusable. You can use this hundreds and hundreds of times. I've been using this piece all day today. Right? It doesn't peel paint. It doesn't mar. It doesn't leave any sticky residue because there's no residue. There's no adhesive. Right? So it's safe on nice woodworking. Nice, right? But it's strong enough to hold rebar, CVC, Bumber, right? Not only does it work dusty and dirty, but it works wet and underwater. It's not a clever name, it's simple strap. <laughs> I'd like to tell you guys what casino we're in, but I don't know. If one of you guys knows, say it in the comments down below. So I, I would ask him what he thinks of it, but I don't think I'd get a very unopinionated answer since I think he's the president of Bosch. So Bosch has a new line of battery powered tools that they claim will deliver the same power as their corded objects. And this happens to be what I believe is the president of the company trying out one of their grinders. And what he's using is actually the new battery technology. So it does corded, cordless power for the battery. Corded, corded power on a battery. Okay, so it's no secret that we use a lot of Diablo blades. In fact, we've done multiple videos. And Russell, what are you doing for Diablo? President CEO. Okay, so this is the president, and now I've got him quartered. We're gonna find out what you guys do different because you guys the new technology going on, especially with these bits. Will you actually just show us what you're talking about? Yeah, I mean basically with hammer bits you got two types of users, right? One is you don't want to hit rebar, but you hit it. The second is you have to go through rebar because of spec. So either way, when you hit rebar, typically either the bit's gonna blow up or you're gonna stop, get a rebite cutter, which costs you about 30 bucks. It takes about 10, 15 minutes, to, you know, depending on the size of the rebar. It's kind of a pain in the butt process. Then you go back to your uh, original uh, bit. So to counter that, what we've done is come up with a bit with a full carbide head. And this can uh, take up to 1,800 degrees of 
severe uh, heat, right? So when you hit rebar, the problem is with the standard one, it can only accept uh, uh, 800, 900 degrees. And typically when you hit the rebar, you need around 1100, 1200. So it blows up. So you guys actually know, I mean, this is not like a kind of, sort of, maybe. At 800 degrees, these blow up. At 1800 degrees, yours blow up. And you've got to get them to 1100 degrees so they don't blow up. The handle rebar. The handle rebar. That's right. And that's what you guys have got. And what is this thing called? Uh, it's a full carbide head called Rebar Demon. Okay. A full carbide head. And is this just available coming today? Up? Today. When did it come out? Uh, we came out, uh, we're almost at 12 months, okay. but we continue to uh, innovate uh, with uh, expanding the range and more and more capacity. For tip example today, uh, we're introducing our new inch and 1 8 bit, both an SDS Plus and SDS Max. Alright, that's been what's new from the album. Thanks for that, Sonny Bad. Appreciate it. There is just something not nice about me, you guys. I actually put what I think is one of the absolute coolest tools in the next video. Oh, you didn't do it. Did you, did you really do that, Dirt Monkey? Yes, I did. I did. I did. I put one of them in today's. I'm not going to tell you which one. You got to tell me which one you think is the coolest. And what I think is another one of the absolute coolest is coming up. Part two. And a big thanks goes out to LMN Software for being supporters of this channel and helping us get this kind of content to you guys. We use LMN Software inside of our company, but we use it a little bit different. See, LMN Software not only manages how you run your business and helps you schedule your projects, but the software and the resources behind it are really deep. The customer support, the ability for you to manipulate in real time your jobs, uh, there's just so much to this software system. And then what I really like about it is you can, as you graduate, as your business grows, the software system grows with you. You don't grow out of it. There's 50 plus million dollar companies still using this software to run their day to day operations. So they, if they, it's good enough for them to run their operations, it's going to be good enough for me to run mine is the way I look at it. And hopefully good enough for you guys as well. Now, I hope you enjoyed today's video and stick around because part two, like I said, it's got that really cool tool in it. God bless and go get them, you guys. And remember, tell me what your favorite tool was in the comments down below. Catch you later, you guys.